everyone, it's Darla. Welcome to my channel. I am coming to you today to show you how to make this easy one-piece sweater. And so this is what it looks like. It's all one piece. You start off with a chain that's going to go around over your shoulder and then down your back. And that's how it's going to be worked. It's going to be worked sideways. And I show you everything in the video. I hope it's clear. And um, I've made one before, but a summer top. And I'll link that one below. That one was quite popular. It was made with a different stitch, though. So, yeah. And um, if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it so much. I have so many tutorials going on at once <laughs> and so many more ideas. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for being here and let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm using Hirschner's Pastry Puff. It is a medium four weight. It is 70% acrylic, 30% wool. Suggested hook size is an H, which is a five millimeter, but I used a 5.5 millimeter. This ball is 139 grams, 228 yards, and I used just over three. And the color I used is Maple Pecan. For this tutorial, you'll also need three stitch markers, a yarn needle to sew your ends in, and this is the hook that I used. Now this is the first piece we're going to make. All right, it goes like this. You see there's a split, that's where your head goes in. And it's super long because you want to fold it in half. And this little slit will be down on the back of your neck. And then the slit on the other side is deeper for the front, but you don't have to make it that deep. But I will show you how to do that and what the yarn, uh, the stitch count is when we do it. So make sure you make a chain that's long enough that it's going to go up your front, over your shoulder, and then down the back. So that's how we're going to be working this sweater. It's fantastic to work it like this when you have striped yarn because the stripes going vertically make it look um, like it's a slimmer it's a slimmer look than going horizontal all right so let's get started so the first thing you want to do is you want to make a chain now this chain is in multiples of three plus two. I made a chain 162 plus two. Now with this stitch we're using, um, it seems to make the material shrink up a bit. I guess when you block it, maybe you could pull it back out again. I don't usually block anything. <laughs> I don't have the blocking pads, but um, yeah, so my chain will be 162 plus 2, and that's multiples of 3 plus 2. And let's get started. This is going to be a sample piece because my, my piece is uh, done. We're starting with the body part. So and that is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
and then if you're making it like my size which is a medium you would chain and it depends on the length as well but um, I chained 162 plus 2 all right I'll be right back when we get to the end of our chain once you have your chain made the next thing we're going to do is make single crochets all along the chain so in the second chain from the hook this don't count the one on the hook and then this one is the first that's the second we'll go into the second with a single crochet and then we'll do a single crochet all the way across the chain okay I'll meet you back when you get to the end of your chain now when you have your row of single crochets done, we're going to start on some shell stitches. So we're going to chain two and turn our work. Then in this very first stitch right here, we're going to make a single crochet, a half double, and then a double, double crochet, right? All in that same stitch. And then we're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and go into the third one with the same thing. Single crochet, half double, and double crochet. Single, then a half double, and then a double crochet. And then again, skip one, two, and then the third stitch, do the same thing. Single crochet, half double, and that same stitch, and then a double. If you hear that noise, that's my coffee maker. <laughs> Alright, so you do that for this whole this whole row. Do your shell stitches, and when we get to the end, I'll show you what to do. Now, when you get to the end of your row of shells, you are going to have three stitches left. One, two, and then this very end one. So what you're going to do is you're just going to make a single crochet right into that, that end stitch. Okay, right there. Make a single crochet and then you're going to chain two, one, two, and then you're going to turn your work. And now we're going to make the shell into that first stitch. So you put a single crochet Right in that same stitch, put a half double and then um, a double right into that same stitch. Okay, now we're going to skip two stitches one, two, and then go into this third stitch. All you really need to do is look for this big stitch right here, and that's what you want to go into. All right, with a single crochet half double and a double okay there's that big hole right there go into that with a single crochet half double and a double crochet and that's how you do um, this the rest of this body of your top until you get up to the neckline and I'll show you when we get there how to do that all right so again this is the hole here you want to go into with the single crochet half double and then the double 
So continue that all the way along. And remember when you get to the end of your row, you will be just making a single crochet in the very last stitch, which is right here. You skip these two, go in the very last one with a single crochet, chain two, and turn your work, and then make your single crochet, double, a half double, and then double crochet in that very first, um, very first stitch. So I will finish up this row, and then I'll show you the end, what you do at the end again. And then it's just going to be a repeat. All right, so when you get to the end of the row, you're going to have three stitches left. One, two, three. This is your shell right here. So skip those two first stitches. One, two, and then go into this very last one with just a single crochet. And then like before, chain two, turn your work, put your shell into that very first stitch. Single crochet, your half double, sorry, and then your double. My yarn's getting caught up. Okay. And there you continue on. And now what I've done is I've made 25 rows of shells. So this is already, there's one, two, three. We're starting our third row of shells. So I made a total of 25 rows of shells. And then I started on the 26th. But before I start on the 26th, which will be the middle row, I'm going to show you how to um, measure out the neckline. So I'll be right back. Okay, now, say you have the first part of your sweater, the body of your sweater, done. All right, so it's going to be, if you're making the same size as mine, it's going to have 25 rows of shelves. So then what you do is you take your piece and you fold it in half. Okay, we're going to make the neckline over here. All right, you fold it in half. You mark with a stitch marker the halfway point. So it's right about there. And then what you can do is count the shelves on either side of your stitch marker to make sure they're the same amount or roughly the same amount because you want the bottom to be even, right? Okay, and then what you do is, what I did was I just wanted a little bit of an opening in the back uh, of my neck so that it doesn't you know, rub against my neck or bug me. So what I did was I counted, uh, let me see my notes, I counted three. No, I skipped four shelves. So I skipped one, two, three, four. And then I put a stitch marker in the next shell in the spot where our stitch is going to go to make another shell. Okay, so I marked it there. And then for the neck, for the, the front, I counted, I actually counted 10 shells. Now my piece is too long to count out 10 shells or I'd be way over here. So let's do, let's do eight. But I did count 10. All right. So let's put, put our stitch marker in this stitch. That's where our stitch is going to go when we make our shell, right? This bigger opening. So I'll put our stitch marker in there. Ok, 
Okay, now we're going to work this row like normal, and I'll meet you at the stitch marker. All right, so now we've made our stitches up until the stitch marker. Remember, we have to skip two and then go in here to make a shell. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go right into where that stitch marker is with our single crochet, half double, double crochet to make our shell. Okay, now we're going to make a chain. Now how we make that chain is, it depends on the number of shells that you skipped. Okay, let's get it, take out this middle stitch marker so it doesn't confuse us. We don't need it anymore. Okay, between these two stitch markers, how many shell stitches do you have? Now mine was four in the back, 10 in the front, so that's a total of 14. So I'm gonna take 14 shells and times it by three, which equals 42, and then I'm gonna subtract two. So I know I need to make a chain of 40. All right, you can rewind that if you wish. <laughs> so here we go, I'm gonna chain up 40. One, two, three, four, and I'll meet you back when my chain is done. So now I have my 40 chains made. So right into this stitch marker here, we're going to put a shell stitch. So go ahead and do your single crochet, half double, and then double crochet, just like before. And then skip two, go into this space here, just like before. And continue making your shells all the way down, and then you'll um, turn your work and start on the next row. And then I'll show you what to do when we get up to the chain. So we made our row like normal. We've come up to this uh, fan where we have our shell stitch where we have our stitch marker. We can just remove that. We don't need that anymore. We don't need the other one at the other part anymore either. So I'll just remove that one too. Okay. So here's our shell. So now what we're gonna do in that shell is make a shell. All right, so just go right into that stitch like normal. Make your single crochet, half double, and then double. And now what we he do here is we're going to skip two like we did before. So we're going to skip two chains and go into the third one with one of our shell stitches. Single crochet, half double, double crochet. Okay, skip two chains, go into the next one with a shell. Skip two chains, one, two, go in the next one with a shell. Now I've made a top similar to this, but I used V-stitches, and it's called Summer, Summer, oh, what did I call it? <laughs> summer Breeze, One Piece Summer Breeze Crochet Top. I'll put that link below if you haven't seen that. That was quite popular video. Um, last time I looked, I think there was 17,000 views on that one, and thank you so much. You would think that I would have 10,000 subscribers, at least. <laughs> I don't know where you're all at, but here is another one that I'm doing. It's so 
um, using a shell stitch this time. So please subscribe and hit the bell because there's going to be more more tutorials. I have hundreds of ideas in my head. Alright, let's continue going on here. Skip two chains, go into the next one. With uh, our shell stitch. Okay, so we're going to continue that along this chain and then I'm going to show you what to do when we get to the end of the chain. Okay, I'm at the end of my chain. I did my shell stitch. Skip two, one, two, go in the third one with a shell stitch. Single crochet, half double, and then a double crochet. And then here we are at our shell stitch. So skip two. One, two, go in the third one with a shell stitch. And then we're going to continue on like normal. And continue on like normal. Finish, uh, finish your row out, turn your work, come back up, continue making your, your shell stitches on these shell stitches. And like I said, I made 20, 25 rows. So this size, 25 rows, and then there's the center, the, sorry, the center row where we work the chain into. And then on the other side of that, there'll be another 25 rows of shelves. Like I said, if you want to make it a medium like I made. And then we will continue on after you have made your, your body piece and then I'll show you what to do. So now I'm going to sew the sides together. So what I've done is I've went in the, in the bathroom and um, put it on over my head and then put a stitch marker where I want to have the opening from here to here for the arm. My opening measure is almost eight inches. I don't know if I really have to show you this, but I'm going to uh, just use the yarn that I used to crochet this top and just sew down the side. Um, yeah, so just go into a couple of the loops there. What I like to do is, I'll tie it. I'm usually a three knotter kind of girl. <laughs> and then I have enough to sew in when I'm done. And then just go into these couple of loops here. Of course, you can do it however you want to do it, right? And I counted, um, let's see, 18 shelves down both sides so that it's going to be even at the bottom when, when I get there. Anyway, <laughs> all right, so yeah, just sew the, sew the sides together. And what we'll be starting on next will be the sleeves. So I'll see you when we get to that point. Okay, now we're at the armhole. What I'm going to be doing is just making a cap sleeve. Um, I'm going to do a round of single crochets, and then I'm going to do four rounds of the um, shells. Okay, so because I'm doing shells, I'm going to have to make single crochets that are in multiples of three um so i'm going to be making 57 single crochets so that's divisible by three evenly and that's what we we need okay so i'm just gonna start right under the armpit just hook your yarn on there 
chain one that doesn't really count as anything as a stitch and then go right in that same spot and make your single crochet that's your first single crochet remember you have to make them in multiples of three or or that can be multiplied by three evenly so making 57 so that's three you may have to put two together in one stitch um, or two two single crochets in one stitch or work two single crochets together whatever it takes to make your multiple of, of three so I'm going to continue on with this and meet you at the end of this round all right in order to get 57 I've I had to put two um, single crochets together so I have to do that again here so I'm going to show you how Just put your hook in grab your yarn pull through put your hook in the next stitch grab your yarn pull through and then pull through all three loops and that makes it one stitch okay and then we're going to go to our first single crochet we made here. And I think it's this one. <laughs> okay. Now what you can do at this point is you can count um, your single crochets to make sure you have the right amount. And, and then you're going to chain one. Then you're going to go in that same stitch and make your shell. So that's a single crochet. A half double. Oops, sorry. Am I super close? And then your double crochet. And then just like you did throughout the sweater, you'll skip two stitches, go in the third one, make your shell again. Then I'm going to meet you at the end of this round. Now we're at the end of that round. Um, let me back this up a little. Okay. So now I have two left. And then this, I think, was my um, slip stitch. I should have done that a bit tighter. But that's okay. We can... Um, pull this in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work into that first stitch. I'm just going to make a slip stitch. And then I'm going to go ahead and make um, okay, chain one. I'm going to go ahead and make my shell right in here. Hope you can see where I went. I'll move my fingers out in a second here. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> made my shell. Oh. Um, very first stitch of that shell. And then we're going to skip this, skip this, and then in this big space here, we're going to do another shell. And that's how we're going to do them around. Okay, take a look at your next shell. Skip two stitches and then go into this one right here. With your next shell and just continue that all the way around. And I'll meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so we're at the end of the second round on our sleeve here. Now there's two stitches 
and I'm gonna skip one and two and then what I'm gonna do is this is our shell here normally you skip one two and then go in this one um, that's what I'm gonna do I'm actually going to do a slip stitch at the top of the first stitch and then slip stitch into the next and then slip stitch into that space where we need to to make our um, shell. So chain one and do your single crochet half double and then double. Okay, and then you skip two, go into this one. See that, skip that one and that one, and then go into this one. And so we're going to make two more rows, four in total of the shells. So I'll just let you finish that off. And um, I'll show you what mine look like when I'm finished, these next two rows, this row and the next one. Okay, there are the cap sleeves, both done. All right, and I did color control the sleeves. They're both the same color. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go in around the neckline. Now, that's if you want to. You don't have to, but I'm going to do the same thing around the neckline. And um, I think I could do that off camera, right? You guys get the idea? So I might go around it maybe a couple of times. I'm not really sure yet. And then I'm also going to go around the bottom with a shell stitch as well, maybe couple of times, two, three times maybe. I'm also going to try to um, color control it using the same color as the sleeves around the bottom and around the neckline. All right, and then once you're done that, you're done your beautiful sweater. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned for some some pictures. Thank you, everyone. Now the cap sleeves are done. I did four rows of the shell stitch. I decided not to do anything with the neckline. I was thinking about putting a shell stitch around, but I think it looks fine the way it is. What do you think? And I put two rows of the shell stitch around the bottom. There you go, your sweater is complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and there'll be more. So please subscribe and uh, comment. I love reading your comments. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day.